Hello! Today we're going to be talking about voting because as I have previously recounted on this channel, there is a very important election coming up in Canada on October 19th, which is so soon. Every election is important. However, in Canada for the past 10 years, we have had like a low-key Donald Trump dictating the country and I would really like that to not be the situation anymore. So in honor of that, I decided to do a dramatic retelling of the first time I ever voted. Open scene to November 2014 municipal election, where for the first time ever, I was getting the chance to exercise this democratic freedom because the previous provincial election had been held exactly one week before my birthday. I had a lot riding on this. I had been preparing for this day for months. I had done research on all the candidates and was stuck with the perpetual worry that these people were gonna turn out to be ineffective dicks. I had planned my outfit and the Facebook posts I was going to make to remind people of the importance of voting and to demonstrate my electoral prowess. On November 15th, I put on my voting outfit. I made my Facebook posts and I armed myself with the list of everyone I was voting for, made previously that night at two in the morning because I lost my other original list. I went and worked four hours at my minimum wage job of mediocre hell stuffing adult diapers and tampons onto shelves. But after that, I walked down the street to the senior center in all its glory as a temporary polling station. I walked in and was instantly confused. I was directed to someone that would register me because I had not received a voting card even though I've lived in this city for 10 years. Me and all the volunteers agreed that it was super weird. I was given a yellow folder with a gigantic ballot inside. I was told to fill in three CRD directors Yes, no, amalgamation, one mayor, eight city councillors, nine school board trustees. I took the folder into my hands. My friend, you have no idea how much I've got this. I sauntered off to the ballot boxes in their cardboard coven of privacy. I brought my list out just in case. Even though I wasn't sure if that's allowed, like is that considered cheating? I filled in three CRD directors. Didn't realize they were separate from regular city councillors, but it's fine. I still got this. I filled in the bubble with the perfectly tipped felt pen. This was like a Scantron for the best test I'd ever taken. Moved on to yes, no amalgamation. Easy. Flipped the ballot over. One mayor. Got this. I filled in my eight city councillors. Still got this. Then the nine school board trustees nailed it. I looked over my ballot, recounting, mostly just to bask in the glory of what I had done. I paused at the city councilor section. I had filled in nine names. How could this have happened? I had made a list. I had labored over these names. In my 2 a.m. stupor, I had written down one extra name. And when I was filling in, I didn't even notice because I had gotten carried away in the civic duty of it all. I had spoiled my ballot. I couldn't believe that I had done this. I panicked and almost began to weep. I frantically texted my father asking him if I had wasted my only chance on this stupid mistake. How could I, of all people, done this? I had waited since I was 12 years old to vote, when I was still filled with idealism for the future. I had dedicated my life to the pursuit of political engagement, and now my vote wouldn't count. After a few minutes of holding back tears, I decided to suck it up. I went up to the guy who was accepting ballots, who was wearing a newsboy's style hat and had a beard and had definitely voted NDP in the past. I handed it to him and said, I fucked it up. I filled in nine city councillors. He replied by asking, do you want to do it again? Yes! 
and I was directed to the woman with a sign in front of her that said, Spoiled Ballots. I got a new ballot. A fresh ballot in my yellow folder. A second chance. I did it again. Perfectly. I handed it to him and said, I did it right this time. He replied by saying, there's no need to be frustrated. One in 20 people did it today. I didn't realize I looked that visibly upset. It's kind of embarrassing. He slid my ballot through the machine like a water slide in the democratic process. It beeped. Congratulations, he said, high-fiving me. Would you like a sticker? Yes. Yes, I would. So that was my very dramatic, slightly traumatic, recounting of the first time I ever voted. Please share your own stories. And also vote! Ugh, when your face is more in point than every political party's platform. Strong brow leadership, am I right?